We're going to take a look at how to prepare the computer for installation of Bobcat. It's very important that the computer system is up to date on all of the updates, so we're going to cover how to do that. It's also very important that the computer does meet our system requirements. Our system requirements are available on our website under support and then system requirements. What you really want is a Windows 7 or better computer with 64-bit and about 6 gigs of RAM and a 1 gigabyte graphics adapter. It's very important that the graphics adapter has its own standalone memory and is not built into the computer or the motherboard. Our minimum system requirements are a 128 megabyte graphics adapter, 1 gig of RAM, and a 2 gigahertz processor with Windows XP. It's strongly recommended that you use Windows 7 64-bit. Now to check your system requirements, simply click on the start button and in the search type in DXDIAG and that brings up the DXDialog.exe. So we'll go ahead and click on that. This brings up the system information or the computer's information. On this window I can see how much memory is available and also the processor. In this case I have an AMD Phenom 2 with six CPUs. The display information is on the next tab and we could see the graphics card. We have an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 550. So you'll want to get this information and note it down on your computer so that you can check and see if there's any graphics card updates available. Now this is a fairly new computer that I'm using, but still the software is out of date or the drivers are out of date. They release driver updates and software updates almost on a weekly basis. So just before installing, check and see that you have the latest driver. It's very important. To do this, I'm going to launch the internet right here. You can use whatever web browser you'd like. And since I have an NVIDIA card, I'll go to NVIDIA.com. You can always do a web search as well to find the graphics card manufacturer site. All of these graphics card manufacturers will have on their website a download drivers or a find drivers option. In this case, I have a GeForce driver. What you'll want to do is, once you get to the manufacturer's website of the graphics card, is follow their on-screen instructions. The most common are NVIDIA or ATI. On the NVIDIA site, we can go to a manual driver search under drivers, choose the type of card that's on the computer. In this case, I have a 500 series since mine is a 550 and I am using Windows 7 64-bit, so I'll go ahead and click on Start the Search. Now I can see some information about this driver. This driver was released on March 13th, 2012, and if I come back to my graphics card information, I could see the driver information here. The date is from 11-7-2011. So even though this is a fairly new computer, the drivers that were installed with it are a little bit out of date. So I'll go ahead and download the newer driver, save it to the computer, and then after the file is saved, I'll just go ahead and run through their installer and follow the instructions. Now, if you have an ATI card instead of an NVIDIA card, these two are about the most popular. Just go to ATI.com and you'll see it. Their information and website is very similar. And they'll have a find a driver search option where you could choose the type of computer that you have, the type of card that you have, and the product model and your operating system. And then it'll give you the driver downloads. The next item to make sure it's up to date is your Windows system. 
To update Windows, click on the Start button, and then type in Windows Update. There we go, Windows Update. Now I can see that there's two important updates that are available and three optional updates. Now I do have automatic updates turned on on the computer. This does not mean that everything will be loaded. Um, some of the important updates sometimes are optional. So it's important to go through and just make sure that you get all of the updates that are important. And then allow the updates to install. Bobcat software uses some of the latest technology available in our software so it's important that everything's up to date so that all the depending or supporting files are available on the computer. You can do this after the installation of the software or before the installation of the software or you could potentially not do it at all but if you start running into any stability issues or problems like that you'll need to make sure you do go ahead and get these items updated and handled as the software really needs these files on the computer so that everything will work. In the case that your computer does not have internet access, it would be best or easiest to move it to a location that has internet access for this. However, if for some reason you cannot, you can save the files and then bring them over to the computer to be updated using a USB stick or a CD. Once these items are done, you're ready to go ahead and install the software from the installation disk or the download that you've received. To install the Bobcad Cam software, locate the installation CD and then place it in the CD drive. It should start to run automatically. And after it's complete, you'll get a desktop icon for Bobcad. Once you've done that, go ahead and open up the software. The software will take a moment to open the first time, and then it'll let you know that the software is unregistered. You get five days to run the software in full license mode where every product is licensed as a trial. So you have a little bit of time to register the software. When you're ready to register the software, click register online. This will prompt you for your license ID and password. On your invoice that was either mailed to you or emailed to you, you'll find that there is a license number and a license password for each seat of the software that you have purchased. Simply enter your license ID and password, then click Activate. This will register the software for you. If for some reason you do not have internet access on that computer and cannot do this, you can contact us, that number is on that license dialog box, at 877-262-2231. If you're going to register by phone, you'll need to contact us Monday through Friday between the hours of 8.30 a.m. Eastern and 5 p.m. Once you've registered the software, You'll be able to see the license under Help, and then License. And this will let you know what items are active. You can check your license, your invoice. They should match up. It'll show your customer ID, license, and password, and name information. 